All right. Please just go back inside. You guys just try to rip the cell phone out of my hand. Sir, you please? And you, you just turn. I need to pick this up and get out of here, man. Pick up your stuff. Nobody's going to put a hand on you. Why did that guy just t put his hand back on my camera and try to rip it out of my hand? Do you know why? Who? What's his name? Sir, grab your stuff, please. All right. Please, can you just leave me here to pick this up? Because I feel threatened. My doctor. There is no threat. I'm not gonna let nobody come oh. near you. I'm All right. The only well, one my here. my doctor wrote in here I'm the that only one here. I'm if not you gonna put a hand on if you take these but notes, sir, I need you my doctor says stuff. that I can't be around security staff because you guys have beat me up and raped me before. Listen. It says this right here. He says this on. Okay. Uh, Todd. The security staff in every shelter. Yeah, I know, and that's why my doctor wrote I need to be put in a hotel room with no security staff in this letter. You gotta talk to your case manager. All right. All right. But like cops have been gotten in trouble before. They can't delete video off a person's phone. You cannot record they... in this shelter. Period. All right. 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 Any, Any shelter. You don't belong Any here. New York City shelter you cannot you record. Mean, you don't belong here. And if you if you were not All right. show you inside where it has the rules. I'll read those rules and my lawyer's gonna read over he's gonna ask for the video in there because earlier the guy has sold me in there too. Right. And before I was previously assaulted here too by you guys. And my attorney requested that video before as well. And we're using it right now to try to get you guys in trouble. I don't feel safe in this place in the first place. Well, I have to because you guys put all your services here at 30th Street. No, you have an official shelter? No, they stopped serving me today. They can't stop serving me. But they did. As long as there's beds there, they have to bed you in. But they won't bed me. I need a first floor bed. You want a specific Yes, as a reasonable accommodation because the ADA so, Title II says to wait until they give you a reasonable I already did have one though I was on the first floor for the last month and to, today they, they went into my room they stole some batteries out ransacked my stuff cut the lock off my locker and said Todd for no reason we're moving you upstairs so um, you have a print out of this you know, this guy here you gave it to him um, he was here before he was escorted out before yeah, same thing. Yeah, my lawyer. Sir, I was not talking the video. to you. Please say it. Yeah. Talk to your lawyer and your doctor. When you're here, you cannot record. All right, every well, I'm going to keep come, doing every it. Every time you come here recording, yeah. you will bump heads with DHS police. All right, well. Every I, single time. I, I'm fully disabled with PTSD, so I need a reasonable accommodation to allow people to record here. So yeah, this doesn't happen PTSD? again. Yeah. You're not going to give me a post-traumatic stress disorder so you can record because you have a post-traumatic stress Yes, because stress I've been assaulted, So you make raped no sense. By cops. You make no sense I'm not, whatsoever. I'm not it's sure. It's just stuff. All right. Sir? Pick up your stuff hold and on. step along. Hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on. I'm not secure. Hold on a second. This is a wishing time. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Wait, what? According to access control, he was here earlier today, 2.17 a.m. He was referred back to help set his center. His yeah, it's official true. Shelter. That's but the then I, I got a police report. The guy told me, if you get a police report, we could do something else and help you and put you somewhere else. So I got a police report. You got to wait for me to put this all back together. Because the cop gave me his card and said, you can call him and everything. He said that they harassed me, the staff, at that other facility. And so I shouldn't have to put up with that. Ask you guys to please put me somewhere else. 32 years old. You a young man. Why? Guys, please left it. Uh, go to the door and uh, let me inside. There you go. Yeah, thank you. Listen, did I give you all the information you need to go to DHS to talk to the people? I gave you information. I went to the cops. They gave me a police report, like you said. A, a police report. But that police report about what? You need a that they harassed me there at the facility, and I shouldn't have. I he, the cops said, "Can't you have these guys in here? Send you another police a place." They gave me his phone number so you could call him and talk to him about it. They're writing a police report and they have one done. They're going to investigate all the crimes over there that happened. Now. So I shouldn't be there anymore because crimes happened against me. I told you the police report you have to be somewhere where you were physically assaulted. Yeah, he's where, putting where, it in where? there. Yeah. Listen, you have a restraining order against them, they have a restraining order against you. That's the only way you will be able to go in here and I can change where your placement is. And I spoke to you about this. I, listen, I literally gave you the breakdown. I, I spent more time with you than I do with other individuals. 
All right. Well, I got the police yeah, support. Don't do this again. Don't listen. Like I'm never going back to help because I was harassed and assaulted. And I there. gave you yeah. information on every drop-in center. In the city. But the, the drop-in centers don't have beds, and they they all closed up after 11 p.m. They don't add a bed anymore. They got chairs to sleep in, but not after 11 p.m. They all close up. Because I told you I can't allow you in this facility. And then you come back in and... Because I got the police report. I got his phone number. The cop said, give this phone number to him and have him call The cop us. does not run DHS. Uh, well, DHS yes, yes, yes. has their, their protocol. If a cop or doctor tells you to come in and... Yeah, know, but a crime they, they happened They don't supersede anything in here. Yeah, but a crime... I'm not, sir, happened. they don't supersede anything that comes in here. No, well, so I'm of course not. I'm telling you what's going on. I'm telling... So you... Come on, so you know better. Like, no, no, no. See, I'm on the streets oh, now because I don't have a shelter now. The cops did what you wanted. And they, they gave me a police report and a phone number. You know, And that was the proof that see, I had been beat up. And I obviously see you recording me as well. And, you know, yeah. I'm going to end this because okay. I'm not going to talk to you not, you're legally recording because you didn't, have, didn't even tell me that you recorded it. It's me. First and, Amendment, and, right. No, it isn't. Yeah. So you know that you can be... You can get arrested. You can, you can get a if case. If you tried to so arrest me, so listen, my public defender right, would win in that's court. That's illegal what you're doing. You're illegally recording me. You can't be doing that. All right, New York right sir. I'm not there to exit the premises, please. You're recording. You cannot be on these grounds. All right. You can record past this gate right here. Past that, you can record all you want. But over here, you cannot record. Tell your lawyer that. Tell them there's rules here. Well, there's still stuff of mine on the floor here, and I need to make sure nothing's missing. Nothing's missing. Everything's here. Please. So I had so much stuff. This is over $5,000 worth of stuff. This is this is a $3,000 laptop that was just on the floor because he tossed it on the floor, dude. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, he said I'm going to have to actually exit the premises, please. All right. Thank you. All right, but if there's a single scratch, I'm sending you guys a bill. Okay, dude. Have a good night. Come back here. Yes. Have Come a good night. Here. Have a good night. I'm just making sure nothing else is on the floor. Well, hey, man. I just got beat the fuck up at two different places tonight over this shit. All right, I'm gonna have to go make sure I got all my property somewhere. And they just kicked me out of here and assaulted my ass repeatedly. They literally grabbed my hand. It, you can see marks. I mean, there's little marks on my hand a little bit, just a little bit of redness. They grabbed me really hard, trying to rip everything out of my hand, my cell phone. And it was like a grub, you know? They really wanted to fuck me up. They were grabbing me. Man, that's like a cop turning off an audio recording because he knows he's dirty and doesn't want to be recorded, basically. Because this, 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 the cops work on this ground. They work at HelpSec. They work at every facility in town. The same cops. They just circulate the building, different buildings. They have the same security guards, too. Same security firm handles it all. Every building. So they target and harass me. 